In this example, I'm going to show you how to use histograms and process capability within Sigma Excel. The example I'm showing you is taken from page 118 of the Sigma Excel version 6.1 workbook. Now, for this example, we're going to be using the delivery times data set. You can find this data set in the sample data folder inside of your Sigma Excel installation directory. So, of course, the first step is to open delivery times. Now, once you have the data set open, we're going to take a look at the data using histograms and descriptive statistics. So, to do this, click on Graphical Tools, then click on Histograms and Descriptive Statistics. If it's not already checked, make sure you check Use Entire Data Table, and then click Next. Now, as our numeric data variable Y, we are going to select Delivery Time Deviation. Now, after you do that, click OK. Now you can see that a histogram and descriptive statistics are produced. And if you take a look at the ADP value, you can see that it's greater than 0 0.05. So that means that we can assume that we have a normal distribution. So knowing this, we can go ahead and take a look at the data using histograms and process capability. Now to do this, click on Sheet 1 of your data set. Then you're going to click on Process Capability. Then you're going to click on Histograms and Process Capability. Once again, make sure Use Entire Data Table is selected, and then click Next. And same thing, we're going to select Delivery Time Deviation, as we did previously for our numeric data variable. Now we're going to set our USL as 10. Target is going to be set at 0. And our LSL is going to be set at minus 10 and make sure that normal curve is checked. Now once doing that, you can click OK. And you can see that the resulting histogram and process capability report is shown.